Have you been washing your hands? Of course! I think people should do that anyway. That's very true, but I think that panic gets people to actually do the action. It's true. When they're threatened mm -hmm. or something. Yes. More often than usual? Yeah, more often probably. Than usual, yeah. yeah, for like longer too. I'm like <laughs> really scrubbing. Because you're like kind of aware of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Yes, I have. So. More so. More so. More so. So it's I in the back of your head. It's, it's oh, yeah, 100%. Head, right? It's in the back of my head. I mean, like, I don't think I'll get sick. If I go to the gym, I'll sanitize like yeah, two yeah, times yeah. and then wash my hand too. Also, oh, do extra. Yeah, extra I do extra. extra. What's your thoughts about the whole virus thing? Do you feel safe here? Do you? Yeah. You're not going out buying toilet paper? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't what? know what I'm supposed to say. No, no, you can swear, sorry. it's fine. I can always beep it out. Why? Why is people buying toilet paper? It doesn't make sense to me. I think it's misinformation, right? Like, people get panicked, and even though, statistically speaking, your chances of getting killed by a car is higher. Are way higher. Yeah. But I don't see people covering their cars in pillows or like, you know, it's just because it's the panic. I think someone started buying toilet papers and everybody just followed. Is when people saw, oh, all these people are buying toilet paper. I right. don't want to be the only one well, no that's left paper. without exactly. any toilet paper. Exactly. I'm going to go buy it too. It's like, it's there's like no cut. rational thought Yeah, there's no rational there, right? thought. I think yes and no. Like, I think I'm more conscious and, like, more careful. And, Aware like, you of, keep yeah. your space. You don't touch your face. You wash your hands yeah. more often. But at this point, no, I'm not super scared of going out. I do think it's inevitable that it's coming to, like, UBC. Oh, so you think it's actually going to come? Oh, 100%. Like, people are sick all the time. People And people think UBC is isolated. It's people not. can take buses. Any it's No, it's not. It's all so it's like I think we should be concerned but try and stay healthy and like do the yeah. best you can and you can't really yeah. just hide yourself at home no and not come out based on fear of you gotta action. eat you gotta see yeah. people like it's hard yeah you don't really have to go out to eat you just get delivery <laughs> but even then but how someone's do you trust coming yeah. to see you yeah, yeah, yeah. and plus that person is working we should be concerned about them and their safety so it's like yeah, yeah it's, it's a community thing yeah. I think you're safe here from that virus I think so. I think like acting in like panic rather than in caution doesn't really doesn't benefit really help. us. Yeah. yeah. I honestly don't feel a threat here. I mean, I've heard about the cases yeah. in BC, but from what I get, it's a lot of older people that get it, and the, the, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, you know, yeah. for the older people. But yeah. I feel like if you're younger and stuff, if you have a good immune system. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't study bio, so I don't really know the implications of it. Well, there's one thing. I know the mask doesn't really help. Yeah, I've heard the masks don't really help that well. Okay, what have you been doing to keep yourself safe? Washing my hands. Yeah, I don't touch things anymore, so if I'm opening a door, I'll use my elbow. Elbow, I'll push um, it open. Yeah. No, I'm not really sitting there doing that because I don't want to get coronavirus. I'm just doing it because I'm just more aware now of the times I touch my face all the yeah, time. Yeah, I like, just did it right there. In a bus. <laughs> I'm going to die. I just did it right there. <laughs> So I think it's just general precautions you can take. Just being careful not to touch my face a lot is like what I've been kind of aiming to do. If it does come to UBC, do you think people are going to panic more so? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. I, I already sense it a lot. Like people oh, are- really? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are trying to buy out non-perishable foods and like toilet paper and just basic stuff like that. Even it's, on campus you sense Even on campus, really? yeah. Like a lot of people that I know have been kind of stockpiling a little bit and it's oh, not really? even really on campus yet. If someone on campus gets the virus, I think a lot of people are going to start taking it more seriously. I've heard about like the university closing. That would kind of suck. All this work I've put into this semester <laughs> already. <laughs> I'll I'll like, gone, but like, sorry, oh. online classes now. Right? That's, it's pretty funny how people are like buying toilet paper. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, yo, relax. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. <laughs> like, I, I believe in the technology we have where you we'll get a cure soon enough. You know the thing is, if I run out of toilet paper, it's not the end of the world. No, exactly. I can wipe my ass with a lot of different <laughs> yeah, things, right? Exactly. Like, I can, I can use the like the shower head to clean my butt. Like, that's like, true. It's like, that that's not true. a huge deal. That is true. <laughs> and you're fighting over it, too. I know, like I've seen videos where it's like old ladies are fighting over yeah. I'm like, whoa, you guys need to relax. Making the situation worse than it is. I know, that's true.